Today we are going to learn about birds, sing a bird song and do a bird craft. Hello everyone, my name is Anne Richmond. I'm the author of this book, Charisma and the Berry Boat. Today at Charisma Readers time, it's theme time. song first. Vertebrates are animals that have a backbone inside their body, just like us. Backbones support vertebrates in their structure. Vertebrates have nervous system that controls everything, including walking, thinking, feeling, and breathing. Vertebrates have endoskeleton, that means a skeleton inside the body. Endoskeleton, a skeleton inside the body. Human is also a vertebrate. Vertebrates have muscles that are attached to the skeleton that enables the movements. All vertebrates reproduce by mating between males and females to bring babies, ducklings, chicks, and so on. Vertebrates have blood that circulates with the heart. Invertebrates don't have a backbone. Invertebrates have hydrostatic skeletons, which is made of fluid like the earthworm, starfish, and jellyfish. Or they have exoskeleton, that's hard shell or case covering their body like crabs and snails. Vertebrates are further classified into five classes. Today, we are going to look at one of them, birds. Birds are vertebrate animals that have feathers, wings and beaks. Birds are warm-blooded animals, which means that they can make their own body heat when the temperature outside drops. The body temperature of warm-blooded animals usually stay the same. Cold-blooded animals' body temperature depends on the temperature outside. Some examples of cold-blooded animals are fish, lizards, and frogs. A bird's body is covered with feathers. No other animals have feathers. All birds breathe through their lungs. Birds' bones are hollow, which makes them light so they can fly up high. Most of the birds fly. Some birds like penguin and ostrich don't fly. All birds lay eggs. Most birds eat plants, fruits, seeds, insects, and small animals. Birds come in all sizes, the small ones like hummingbirds, and the biggest is ostrich. Now let's listen to the names of some birds. Say them with me if you know the names. Blue jay, peacock, hawk, cardinal, robin, crow, sparrow, seagull, woodpecker, dove, hummingbird, pigeon, owl, Eagle, cockatoo, parrot, duck, goose, swan, flamingo, crane, pelican, penguin, 
ostrich, toucan, cuckoo, coil, mina, chicken, loon, and chickadee. Let's sing a song called Birds Say Hello. Springtime is I'm going to show you how to do a parrot craft. I'm going to draw a circle here for the head. I'm going to extend this this way. And draw the body. Now I'm going to cut this out. Here I have red, yellow, light blue, and dark blue pieces of paper. I'm going to take two and I'm going to trace my daughter's hand. You can trace your hand. Just a little open like that. I'm going to put binder clips so the sheets don't move. Now I'm going to take this one and trace it on top of the light blue. So I get exactly the same Now I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to take the dark blue. I'm going to put glue on this part of the hand. I'm going to take light blue. I'm going to glue it just above like this. Now I'm going to put glue exactly the same way on this part of the light blue. And take the yellow and glue it like that. Now same thing for the yellow. 
and I'm gonna flip it and trim it just around the light blue. So it looks like this. That's for the wings. Now I'm going to do the tail feather. I'm gonna cut some thin strips of rectangle of the same color. So I'm gonna put binder clips again. So they don't move. Okay, now I'm going to go in the same order but sideways. So I'm going to take the first color and put glue only on the side here just until that much not the whole tail and take the next color and glue it and when I glue it I'm going to slant it a little bit so it looks like that narrow here and wide at the top and again slanted so it's wide here and it comes narrow here and do the same with the next color, which is red. Right at the top and narrow the bottom. Okay, here I'm going to do a bit of it so they all look together. So I'm going to put glue here at the top. Just like that so it can open. Now I'm going to glue the wing over here. So I'm going to put glue at the back. Just on this part. Glue it right there. I have a yellow piece of paper here. I'm going to put the parrot's head over here. I'm, I'm going to draw the beak so coming out like this and here so I'm going to put glue here I'm going to go over it with marker I'm going to cut that out with the part that I'm going to put glue on glue on this part and glue it at the back like that. Now I'm going to draw the eye. I'm going to cut rectangle out of brown sheet of paper and a small one. Crush it first. and put glue on one side and roll it so it looks like a branch. Now same for this one. Cut this into half and glue one over here. Glue another one over here. So I'm going to glue it right here where the body ends. And draw two feet like that. You can put it on your tree or on your plant at home. I'm going to put glue and glue it on my craft book. There we have our parrot craft. Next week is music time. We will be learning more about tempo, allegro and adagio, learn a new tempo song and make an allegro craft. Until then, goodbye everyone. I'm glad we had some fun. It's end of circle time. See you next time.
Bye everyone. New videos are posted every Monday on Charisma Reader Circle Time. First Monday of the month is music time. Second Monday is theme time. Third Monday is music time again. And fourth is around the world time. Please subscribe to follow all of them in the right sequence. Kindly like and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.